Hi. Uh, I thought I, I would just explain something that uh, maybe non-developers will have a problem with, which is this uh, annoying warning. This API is deprecated. Please upgrade to the new SDK version, blah, blah, blah. And it says you should use find first or find all. Uh, I will show you how to fix it, but I think even more uh, useful or important is to explain to you what, what's happening and yeah, maybe a bit about the scripting. So, uh, as you can see, like, there is nothing in the project at all. I'm just selecting some light or whatever. And here's the code. I just added a script and I have this, uh, this code. And it's, this is the only thing here. So I'm just using the normal scene recorded find uh, and giving it a name and I have this one. So let's first see what's actually in this variable right now. So as you can see, there is uh, something here, let's see. Uh, and it's like a reference to the actual object and everything is fine, but uh, of course we have this one. So let's do what it says, and since I need one of it, I just use dot first. And let's see what's happening. So let's move here and reload. As you can see, the warning is gone, but even the log is not uh, looking anything. So, so I fixed something, but I still have <laughs> something else to fix. Um, What's happening before? Uh, we need to explain something about uh, how JavaScript execution work, works. And we have two modes, like something called synchronous, which is what you are used to, like one line after the other. Everything is logical and makes sense. And we have something called asynchronous, which is not running in the same time. The problem with the find and find first, it's not just a different name. They didn't just rename the function, but it's they switch between the synchronous and asynchronous. So what, what does this mean? What does it mean that, uh, as, as we can see, we cannot log the object or the reference because we, we have something else here now. Uh, the execution will immediately continues, but it will not give us the result that we expect. It will give us something called a promise. Uh, this is like a concept or something in JavaScript. Uh, like we have strings, booleans, whatever, and we have something called a promise. And a promise, that's something that... It, it's a promise, like it says. It's something in the future. Um, so now, this function promise, promises us that <laughs> At some point, maybe one millisecond, one year, whatever, it will give us the result, but not immediately. But it will, it will let us continue until it can find the result, and then we will see how we can take the result. So let's just fix it. Uh, the easiest way, or what I would usually do, uh, there is no need for this uh, variable anymore. And here, this promise thingy, we can add something called to then. And this function will, will get the, uh, the result some point in the future. And this is what's called then. <laughs> uh, so here we should, uh, you don't have to name it the, like any particular name, but this is the result. And this is just syntax for providing a uh, uh, function, it's called an arrow function. But anyways, like it just uh, it takes a, uh, another function and this function will have the actual result. And here, when we use this thing here, uh, it should work. Let's start, and you can see as before, it's now, now it should fix your problem. However, uh, there is something you need to take care of. It's not just this line. If you were using this, uh, like for example, if we had more logic here, or no matter how, but even hundreds of lines, it doesn't matter. Anything that uses this variable, as you can see here, there is squiggly line, and there is 
in, in this area it, it doesn't know what what what's this constant because it's only available here so you need to take anything that uses this uh, variable or result or whatever and put it here and this includes let's say what we based like let's say we have here uh, from something else So if you basted uh, something like this here, then of course you you will get another uh, warning for the same thing, and you need to do the same thing over again. So do this, and then and then and then you have your something else, and then you can use it here. And again, anything that you pasted here, you will have to also move here right? because this is the only place where something is something else will be available. And you can also use uh, ambient event here. Right? This wouldn't be your problem. And that's it, just a simple copy based operations and should uh, fix it. Um, one more thing, uh, as any promises in real life, uh, they are not always fulfilled, some people break your heart. And if a promise causes an error or for example if, if it doesn't find the object or whatever, um, because like a promise is a concept, it's not just for the find function. Anything in the scripting reference that gives you a promise, you can deal with it the same. So if a promise fails for any reason, you can use define something or uh, something else called uh, .catch, but on the same level as this then. Uh, after it, you can use .catch, and it will just take an error. You can name it anything, but it could be an error, and you can log it or do whatever you want. This might be useful when you are starting and you maybe break things. Uh, and the same, yeah, like you cannot use this error here, it must be inside. And you can just keep nesting it. <coughs> I know it's not pretty and it's complicated and I have no idea why they did it. Uh, don't complain to me. But at least now you know how to fix it. Uh, now it's a deprecation, it's not super critical to do it, but uh, I guess at some point they will uh, force you to. And I hope I made your life easier and have a great day. Bye bye.